Welcome back, clowns, to another episode of Life is Strange right here on Carney Gaming. I am your host, the ringmaster himself. Let's continue where we left off. Please, hopefully at least, yep, right here, cool. Scott, missing come to the front person's office. poster. Thank it's that girl again. Oh, the same girl. Okay. It was Grant. What's up, Miss Grant? Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. Sure. I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms... It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, Will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Yeah, hell yeah. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Hey, I think I was an asshole anyways. Let me find a drone. All right, what do I do? I don't know. Let's walk around. Let's say hi to people. You better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. How do I? How do I? Okay, here we go. Uh. Okay, we read that already. Oh my goodness. Hello. Uh. Sorry, running late, insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Okay. okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Where's my where's the dorm? Alright. I'm gonna guess it's this way. That run though. Dormitories. They're like at a, like a boarding school. Eh. What's up, bro? Oh, you just gonna push me? Asshole. Go to the dorms. I always wanted to go to school like this. Bring it, bro. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Okay. This is over here. Is that my friend? No. Excuse me, girls. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield. Oh, damn it. The selfie hoe of Blackwell. No. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> what an asshole. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? 
Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. Oh, uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you, girl. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Oh yeah, we are. She's such a little asshole. Nice, Use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this yeah. fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Yeah, you fucking move out of my damn way. Move. None shall pass. Kippy, sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Okay. Awesome. How do I get that? Sweet. Yo, she is such an asshole. Like I knew people like that. I went to school with. It's. Like, why do you have to be that ass? I don't understand. Be nice. Be nice to people. Not that hard. I'm gonna dump paint on your head, though. Because I don't like you. And you're a meanie. What do I have to do? Yeah. There's only one way around this. I'm so confused. Awesome. Yeah. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. There we go. You got it. Okay, let's see if this works. Nice. Uh What what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to just chill? Or am I supposed to turn the water up again? Damn you, you're right, buddy. I wish I could help Samuel. He looks he looks to be struggling. He looks to be struggling a little bit. I feel really bad for Samuel. Really bad. Alright, let's see what happens here. Close, but no cigar. Ah! They have to be right under the bucket. Go over here. Gotta hit this water thingy, my bobbers. What the hell? Yeah, skip that. We don't want to hear them, them assholes talk again. Oh, I'm gonna mess your cashmere up real good. Oh, Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Sweet. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. Yeah. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Oh, yeah, bitches. You don't mess with this Maxine right here. Oh. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Can I take a picture? No. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Ah! And no filter needed before I post this. Ah! 
for now, veg. Please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. Check. So does Nathan. Bring it on, bitch. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. I guess that's their room. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Aww. Fire alarm? Can I pull it? Nah, you don't want to do that. We'll, we'll bang for Jesus. Poopy sign. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I kind of want to read these. What do they say? Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Where's that other girl's? Victoria. Where, where's hers? Juliet, Taylor, Red Rum. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. I want to draw on. I want to draw on Victoria's. I'm going to find hers. Oh, well, these dorms are nasty. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. For real. Look at this posting a Gandhi quote. You're the meanest mofo I ever seen. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Now you do. Write something. Max. Ah! <laughs> cool home room. sweet home. My favorite cocoon. <sighs> Max and Chloe. Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Okay. Chloe's our best friend. Play the radio. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. You need it back, just track me down in my room, XO. D. Who's D? Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Water the plant. It looks like it's dying. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Whew. Oh, that's pretty cool, it tells you. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. Static. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Why do they stick you over here? I'll, actually, I'd be pissed off to come here. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Oh, that's nice. All right, let's go get the drive because we gotta we gotta go meet uh, what's his face in the parking lot. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. I'm gonna go punch her in her face. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. <gasps> How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? You why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Oh... Uh... Uh, Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Well, that was close. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? 
According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. All right, so we're, we're gonna go to Victoria's room. She a liar. I don't like Victoria, she's a meanie. Those boots are made for walking runways. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Oh. Once uh, was adorable and fluent, short group of Vortex group clothes. In, in the neon 1980s, as a new wave rebellion against the yuppie forces of the Reagan era. Imagine a time when computer nerds were dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was a cause for explosion, expulsion and even violence. Male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten. Now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. So the Vortex Club was originally a haven from the peer pressure that every generation experiences. How ironic then that the revolutionary roots of social misfits has become that some students claim is an elitist cult or is it just envy at one of the black world's most success oh man sorry about that most successful organizations we tried to interview the vortex club member victoria chase but she refused to comment even tried to stop the story from publication interesting bring this ad for a dollar off uh, international photographer Mark Jefferson. Da, 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 da. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Damn, that's kind of dirty. This girl's like crazy. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Read. Victoria Maribeth, friends, 857 subscribers, 1,126, Blackwell hipster alert. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. It says, bitch down. Victoria Chase to Taylor Christian Christians? Christiansen. Taylor, so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass, believe me. Until I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. It better. I need that drive, girl. Gotta let her go. Oh, I can still do that whenever? That's pretty dope. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zach? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Wow. Goddamn heroes. For the Batman in the girls' dorm room. Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Where is it? Flash drive. Dick. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. Was that my inside thoughts? Because that was fucking creepy. <laughs> Alright. Uh. Um. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about, about a Blackwell honor student. Is that true? Is this true? The principal said that this was a serious false charge and that he is worried you're telling stories. Call me ASCP so we can talk about this. Mom, what? They corrupt is all hell. Mm-mm. 
Uh uh uh. That is corruption at its finest. All right. Fuck this shit. Oh Ow. shit. That hurt. Damn. I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. I'm telling you. We're like if Batman actually had powers. Alright. Or how do I get to the I think the parking lot's this way. Oh, look at that. Look at that strut. Look at that strut. Oh. Parking lot. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Oh, damn, I should have intervened. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Wow. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Oh, damn. I, I want to rewind that. Rewind. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. Yep. That asshole was so over the line. Yep, I'm over. I'm going back. I could rewind and try something different. I'm going back. So. Now we're intervening. I, I have enough of this asshole. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me. You shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Will you remember it? Asshole. Oh, Max. That was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Yeah. I feel like an everyday. Oh, I gotta stop doing that. I keep pressing it too fast. There he is. Name Walter. Watson. I think it's Walter. Run over. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't no. stand to see people no. being bullied. We run. We look. We look desperate. Nope. Nope. Max. Oh, I don't even see you. Wait, what? Oh, there you are. Warren. Is that what I said? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. For a week, I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. 
Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? Oh, I'm one of his students. Uh, what the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal? Now! Yeah, fuck you! Answer I told me, him bitch. the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! <laughs> oh, shit! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Fucking psycho. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Well, that's like our best friend. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. I'm sorry. Super sorry. Damn, Max like our guardian angel. Not Max, Chloe. Thanks, Chloe. Broken? Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. <laughs> Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. 
Welcome home, Max. Thank you, Chloe. Guardian Angel, Chloe. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm sorry if it doesn't seem like I'm talking a lot, guys. I'm just trying to let you guys hear the dialogue and the gameplay and the story. Let's see. Come on in. Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Home shit home. This game is really, really cool. A lot of dialogue and a lot of story, though. That's why, like I said, that's why I'm trying to be quiet, let you guys hear it. Focus on the game without my annoying ass talking over it. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. All right, class, I'm going to leave it off here. As she is smoking marijuana, I'm going to leave it off here, and uh, we'll pick it up next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Much appreciated. Till next time, clowns.